Okay, Penny News here. We're outside the Governor Philip W. Knoll Judicial Complex here in Rhode Island. And we're here today to do a story about Mr. Morales, who was arrested recently outside the National Guard in Cranston, Rhode Island. So we look forward to talking with him and finding out what's going on with his uh, arraignment today. So we'll give you the full scoop after the arraignment is finished. And uh, stay tuned. All right, here we are. We're out front the Clark County Courthouse. Mr. Morales, who was recently arrested outside of the National Guard in Cranston, Rhode Island. So we just want to stop for a few minutes here before we go in for the arraignment and uh, have a few words with Mr. Morales. Um, Mr. Morales, uh, your lawyer is uh, here today, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so she's already inside, or he? Um, they should be upstairs right now. Yes. Okay, so you have more than one lawyer? Yes, sir. Excellent. All right, so today you're going to be going in for an arraignment, is that correct? That's correct. So you want to just tell us a little bit about your uh, story, which happened at the National Guard? Um, yes, sir. Um, I was conducting. I am. Uh, I was conducting a First Amendment audit in the city of Cranston and Rhode Island by videotaping or video recording a government building from a public sidewalk um, to obtain footage on how much government officials. Uh, in the city of Cranston honoring the Constitution of the United States of America. Uh, and I was illegally detained, illegally searched, arrested, and retaliated for ID refusal and framed on bogus charges uh, of disorderly conduct and obstruction of justice, which were completely false. Um, we're here today on our first hearing for arraignment uh, for my case. Um, we're hoping for, for these charges to be dropped immediately um, due to lack of probable cause. Um, I would like to let you guys know that I thank you very much for uh, uh, paying attention to my case and helping me put as much exposure uh, as I can to uh, hold uh, accountable uh, the persons during this incident. Uh, for now, that's um, all I have to to say. Do you have any other questions? Very good, Mr. Morales. Yes. Um, so today is just an arraignment, and we'll be uh, reading the charges for you today. And we hope that um, you know they will come to their senses and actually drop the charges. Is that the that the uh, outcome that's you want to get today? That's correct. We're hoping for these charges to get immediately dropped. Um, I am completely innocent and I did not uh, break any laws. Good. That's, that's excellent. Thank you, Mr. Morales. Uh, we're going to give you an update later on. I want to thank Granite State Transparency for sending us out here today to cover this important trial. Uh, it's not really a trial, it's an arraignment, but. Uh, Hopefully we get a good outcome today and Mr. Morales is found uh, not guilty of anything at all. Okay, so we're going to go inside the courthouse and we're going to do some recording and hopefully get you some content later on. Okay, thank you, Mr. Morales, thank and uh, best of luck to you. We're going to be you. inside filming this as well. Thank you. See you guys soon. All right. Thank you again. All right, guys, we're going to um, wrap up here outside Clark County Courthouse. And we're going to go inside. We're going to get some documentation of what happens to Mr. Morales inside. And uh, stay tuned for afterwards. We're going to do a wrap up. And hopefully, we'll see you back here again real soon. Yeah, boy, there. Okay. All right, charges are disorderly conduct and obstruction. Court will take this to the court. Will we cancel? Not guilty of both counts? Not guilty. Waive the. Um, uh, trial by jury in the first instance, and however, uh, we do not make the reading. Charges are disorderly conduct and obstructing of their officers. Uh, let's see.
Thousand P on the set by the bill commissioner. Any objection? No, Your Honor. Recall Is that convenient, Ms. Crone? Yes, I agree with Your Honor. 924 it is. So what? Sir. All right, you can break down. Be on your way. So we just want to let everybody know, you know, what's going on and what the next date is and that sort of thing. So, yeah, and um, the district court case, so, so the arraignment was today. Pre-trial is in a couple of weeks on the 24th. Um, there's two charges. Um, Mr. Morales is not guilty to the charges. And um, the, you know, the constitutional violation by Cranston Police is outrageous. Right. And the judicial process will reveal that. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming out here and helping out. And uh, Mr. Morales, we wish you the best of luck. We're going to definitely be here to cover your arraignment. I mean, your, uh, what does it call it? Trial or pre-trial? Pre-trial. Pre that. Okay. So that. it's pre-trial on the 24th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Well, the best of luck to you thank and you. Uh, keep us in touch. You know, look out uh, Penny News and Granite State Transparency for further information on any kind of proceedings that happen. Yes, All right, yes guys. I definitely want to thank uh, Granite State Transparency for uh, working hard on contacting me and coming from out of state to look out for me. I really want to thank you very much and um, also to Penny News and um, my friend Jim that's been um, calling me and making sure that I'm okay. I really appreciate it. Hey, well, best of luck to you. We're here alongside you. Thank you. We got you back. Thank you, Anselmo, for doing the right thing Thank and standing you. up for corruption. Thank you. All right, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.